what we've been working on, you know, with these 10 practices, and we're getting good feel on the basketball, who fits where, who does what. I'm sure a lot of good things will show up, and it will create more of a buy-in, um, and guys will get confidence from it. But on the trip, we want to have fun. The, the cultural experiences, the, the food, the culture, the, the history, where we're going to be is, is just as valuable and important for some of these guys. And we have some guys that, A, that aspire to play over there or at higher levels. So it'll be a good experience that way. And just um, and then just the bonding of being on a little travel, uh, going through it, we'll, we'll get to know each other a lot better. Not many people can say that they been to Europe to play basketball, you know, just to get to do this for free and get a chance to, you know, really connect on the court with my team. That's exciting. Especially with, with so many new freshmen and, and with a new coaching staff that the ability to go out here and have some games before our, our season really starts to, to be able to, for us players to understand the incoming freshmen, for them to understand us and, and from the team to be able to understand the coaches and how they coach. And, you know, because we get to see them in practices, but to, to, to experience them in a game situation, everybody, I think it's a great learning experience for all of us to, to get this try at some games before the season really comes around. It's going to be a benchmark for us and see what, how much work we have to do and uh, what it's going to take to get the team ready for um, November and hopefully uh, continue playing in March. I think we have good talent, but I know it doesn't work unless you have great attitudes and work ethic and guys are working hard and trying to embrace what this is going to be about and, and I've got really exceeding expectations. Follow the ball, Josh. Follow the ball. Follow the ball. Go this way.